Are you always trying to justify your actions? Um, are you always trying to find an excuse for everything that you do? Um, whenever people accuse you or tell you that you are guilty of doing something, are you trying to justify that? Are you trying to prove your point and show that in fact you are not guilty, you didn't do anything wrong and um, in fact people are misunderstanding you? Well, if you are doing that, um, maybe it's time for you to review that attitude and uh, maybe change it or find a solution to avoid doing that. Today's video in this uh, dealing with yourself season is about um, not justifying yourself for everything and uh, not trying to find an excuse for everything that you do. Um, we all make mistakes in life, you know, we all have flaws, um, we all have weak points and um, sooner or later it's going to happen to you as well. You're going to commit a mistake, you're going to do something that it's not good, that it's not positive, that um, is not helping people or helping yourself. And um, either people will show that to yourself or you yourself will recognize. And then you have two attitudes. The honest and mature attitude of just um, accepting, assuming and trying to change. And the immature attitude of justifying, explaining, finding an excuse, um, finding someone to put the guilt on. And um, I don't think this is bringing you very far or helping you to improve as a person, as a human being. I know it's a very, very trendy fashion, this one. I know this is happening a lot nowadays. People are always justifying themselves. They are always trying to find the reasons, the, the most crazy ones, the, 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 the funniest ones, the, the things that are really absurd. Um, to justify their actions and they are trying to to prove their point somehow and um, you even see people trying to uh, justify their preferences or actions or, or whatever they are doing on, on science and uh, trying to base themselves on this and that and they choose the weirdest studies or whatever to, to justify or to base their actions on or sometimes they just try to be very clever and use logic and rhetoric and good argument and um, they get away with it because they're good at uh, talking and discussing and um, they end up being seen as someone who is right or has done things right even though they didn't. They just won the argument. They just were very good with the argument which at least in my opinion doesn't prove a thing if you did something that is not good not positive it's wrong or, or damaging to others and maybe to you um it doesn't matter your arguments it doesn't matter your capacity of logic you did something that's not good so the thing is if you are able to understand that something that you did is not good and excuse yourself or maybe not even excuse but just make all the efforts possible to not repeat that action in my opinion you are doing something good not for others but also for yourself because you are being able uh, to self-evaluate uh, you are open for self-criticism you are open and able to understand yourself, read yourself and see where things are not going well and uh, where you could maybe change things. Um, in the case of the people who are just trying to find excuses and um, justify their actions, as I said in the beginning, I know it's trendy and I know everyone is trying to do that nowadays because what people want at the end of the day um, is just get away with it and um, justify their actions. And um, there is a reason why that is happening. People are trying to get away with what they do and justify their actions because the society we are living in nowadays, the, the, the values that drive our life nowadays, 
they have somehow created spoiled human beings, weak human beings, lazy human beings, and people who just want to get things easy. They just want to get everything as easy as possible and um, get away with uh, mistakes and flaws and things that they do and have the minimum responsibility possible. They want to reduce the to zero, if possible, the amount of responsibilities that they have in life. And um, because of this that I have just said, because of all these factors that um, created the, the humans that we have nowadays, people try to justify their actions whenever they make mistakes. Because here is the tricky thing. Whenever you have to assume responsibility for actions, whenever you have to recognize mistakes or flaws or something that you did that it's not good, that is demanding from you responsibility, maturity, um, solidity of character, and some other characteristics that are important, but I'm not going to mention all of them. But with the three ones that I have mentioned, you already noticed that that demands, let's say, a strong mind, um, a, a person that is well resolved with making mistakes, with doing things right, with understanding when it's time to change, uh, to, to acquire new habits or to, to change attitudes and so on. And uh, that's not what you're going to find out there. That's not what you're going to find when you go into the world. You are going to find a lot of people that do not have uh, maturity, strong character, the capacity of being serious and, 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 and solid in, in character, in decisions, in attitudes. So you are going to have people always trying to justify their actions and find excuses and, and try to prove that they are not wrong or, or whatnot. Even worse than that, which shows even a lack of character, in my opinion, a, a, a defect on the character, you are going to have those people that know clearly that they are wrong, that they did something bad. Everyone knows it. It's clear for everyone. But they will try to use some skills as much as they can to get away with it, to invert the situation, to show that in fact they are victims and not perpetrators, that they are actually suffering something and they are victims of something and not that they did something good. Above all, if they notice that they are able to do that, to get away with that, uh, because they are good with um, discussing, they have always good arguments and they, they are dealing with people that maybe do not have as strong arguments as they do or maybe even, even because they're beautiful and attractive, they put that beautiful smile in their face and they get away with everything. And um, this is the kind of people you really don't want to interact with, you really don't want to get involved with you don't want to work with, you don't want to fall in love um, with because it's always going to be a relationship in which the other person is a victim, is someone who is suffering from your cruelty or the world's cruelty or people's evil and um, they are just doing things right and in a correct way and no one understands them. No one under understands them. They are poor victims, misunderstood, and uh, they did things actually willing or aiming to this, and people understood it that way, and so on. So you really want to stay away from these people. And then you ask me, should I educate them? Should I show them that they are wrong and so on? I don't think so, to be honest, and I'm going to tell you why I don't think so. Because in many cases, people do know, deep inside, they do know that they are wrong, that they did something bad, that what they did was not positive, that it was prejudicial to themselves or to other people. Deep inside, in many cases, I would say in most cases, people know it. They just are not willing to admit it. It's just too painful for them or too bad to their ego, to their big ego, or they are arrogant and um, not mature enough 
to just accept that they did something that is not good, positive or whatever and uh, change their attitude. So, in my opinion, you should just try to stay away from those people. And if you are one of those, I think you should really try to work on yourself and make efforts uh, towards a more mature personality and uh, a more well-resolved person with problems. Because problems we all have, flaws we all, we all have, mistakes we are all going to make, more or less in our lives. The thing is, how are we dealing with them? This is going to separate adults from child. See you in the next one.